sister and brother surfers of the binary ocean. Hey, I'm gonna show you how to program in the C programming language using Xcode. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install Xcode on your system. You can get that through the App Store on Mac OS. It's not available on any other operating systems. It's just an Apple product, but um, if you do have an Apple computer, this is how you do it. So uh, when you open Xcode, you're gonna have a little splash screen that comes up, probably. You might not, but if you don't, you can just do file in the top menu of Xcode, and then new, you can choose, uh, we'll do file, and we'll also do project, and I'll show you both of those. We'll, so the first one, we'll do project, create a new Xcode project, and then there's these different tabs up at the top, you want to choose Mac OS, and then you want to choose Command Line Tool, and hit Next. C Project is what we'll call it. You give it a name, and then you choose the language from the drop-down. You have Swift, Objective-C, C++, or C. We're going to choose C, and hit Next. It's going to ask you where you want to save it, and if you want to create a Git repository, hit Create. And then it's going to open up your project, and you have your uh, project with like the build settings and all that kind of stuff. Then you have your main project folder, and then you have your main.c file. And this is the, this is your program right here that you, you can run. So with Xcode, it's nice. If you wanna run it, you just hit this little play sign in the upper left corner. And this, it gives you a little hello world program. So if we hit play, it, would, it will um, run our program and give us a little hello world in the debug console at the bottom here. So that's how you do a project. Let's close out of that. And if you wanna do a file, you just do new file and a slightly different dialog box comes up here. Uh, and you can choose you can choose Mac OS, iOS, watch OS, any of those. Um, I just choose Mac OS, just choose Mac OS if you're gonna be doing it on Mac OS. And then choose C file. And this one is gonna be, uh, you'll see it's it's much, oh, and you can do also create a header file. It asks you where you want to save it, create it. So now it gives us a C file and a header file. And you can see there's no hello world or anything in there. There's not even a main function. So you'll need to add that. But uh, it, does, it does give you this header file, which is cool because it imports the standard input output library. And then you're getting that library in your main C file because your main C file imports your header file. So that's kind of neat that it's, you know, gives you that. It's kind of a nice little setup that then you don't have to bother doing that at any point. So that is how you do C in Xcode. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Sister and brother.